So here we have the Ford Transit Connect on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you in the rear of the van and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As you can see, there's plenty of space in the back of the van. It's all been ply lined. We have the full metal bulkhead and a sliding side door access as well. Okay, now that we're inside the van, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. Uh, in the middle, you can see the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauges. Above that, we have the main trip computer section, which includes the total miles uh, for the van, which are 9,240. You can change the information displayed there to various different things, including a digital readout uh, for the speedometer, should you wish to. And the buttons to do that are all on the steering wheel. Okay, so now that we're out on the steering wheel controls, we've got uh, buttons over on the left-hand side to change the information in that central section. Beneath that, we have cruise control and speed limiter. On the right-hand side, we then have stereo and phone controls. Uh, the phone controls can't be used until such time as you pair the phone up to the van. And that is done over on the screen in the center just here using the buttons beneath it. Uh, so you press the phone button and follow instructions on screen from there. Uh, when it comes to music in this van, uh, we have of course got the radio. So as you can see, we have DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. And that is, as I say, off you paired your phone just here the main volume for the stereo. This uh, control lever will do anything that you need to change up there. So for example, you can use it to highlight a phone you've already paired or add a new phone as well. Working our way down, we have some storage just there and then the air conditioning. So on the left-hand side, you can adjust the fan speed. You can adjust the temperature over on the right-hand side. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the van. With a heated front screen, heated door mirrors as well and that button turns your air conditioning on and off again. On top of all of that we've also got a heated driver seat with three different heat settings. We can then put the van in eco mode, turn off the traction control and this button will turn off the stop and start. Uh, this vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when the light shows and then finally we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the van for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.